Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Stay tuned to learn more. We're Brittany and Drew, and for the past six years, we've been loving the freedom and beauty that living life on the road has dished out to us in abundance. Being able to explore Europe, Africa, Canada, and our home country without reservations, we're especially grateful that we could continue exploring and taking you outside with us throughout this pandemic. Because as we all know, 2020 has been quite the year. Everyone has been affected in some way, and we've all been in need of some comfort to help us pull through. And well, for us, we've been contemplating where the future may lead us. And in today's episode, it leads us here. Brittany of Mr. and Mrs. Adventure here. If you saw in our recent episode, which we'll link to right up here, we are starting to crave something that's a little bit more stable, something that we can build ourselves, get our hands dirty, and start to dig some roots somewhere. We don't know exactly where, but something that has been intriguing us lately is the idea of having a container home. Drew loves the idea of playing with multiple containers and seeing what you can do with that because there is a lot of opportunity and potential for some serious creativity. So we have decided to rent an Airbnb for a night because we were feeling a little bit burnt out. And since living the van life during COVID times, we have not had the relief of showering at a gym or being able to work in the libraries or a cafe. We have just been huddled up inside our van and so this was our treat to ourselves. This little container house was built in the backyard of our host's parents' house and Drew hasn't even been inside yet. I went in and I turned on the lights so that you guys could get that wow experience when I opened this door. Let's go inside and see what our little oasis is going to be for the night. They did a really great job. It's nice and modern. It has this like kind of barn house vintage feel to it. And Drew's trying to take <laughs> off his shoes. There's no shoes in the house. Welcome to the living room where this 40 foot long repurposed container creates 300 square feet of living space. The ceilings are nine feet high. Let's take a look at the bedroom, which is just right around the corner like a little sleeping nook. I love it. The ceilings are still high enough where you don't feel claustrophobic. The bed is super comfy. I feel like I'm in a tree house. And you can see the lights that are strung across outside. It's beautiful. I think I would like this a lot. Oh, did you guys see that? There's a skylight. How amazing. And I guess you just, oh, it's just like a curtain. Like a simple shower curtain or something. I love this. I really, really love this. I could see myself feeling like I had a little cozy nook in here. Wow, I wonder what this is. Floor storage. It's empty, but you could seriously. Suitcases. Yeah, shoes. <laughs> Girls gotta have her shoes. You know, ladies. I wanted to point this out. This is something that guests aren't supposed to use and so it's locked, which is totally fine. But what's incredible about this is that they've created a pulley system so that you can raise the entire bed and there is a whole bunch of storage underneath, which is pretty smart. It's a good place for seasonal items and I don't know, a vacuum or something. <laughs> we can open up the blinds. Oh! <laughs> Help. And just like that, we're in the kitchen. The best room in the house. It's actually super beautiful with the lights and these counters are really high for me. <laughs> these are like more than like three quarters up my body or something. But yeah, it's great. Simple enough. What are we gonna make tonight? Mm. We have a big kitchen. That's exciting. This is very special. <laughs> I'm excited for oh. whatever we're gonna whip up. Well, that's fun. What a great little hanging situation. That's really great. Definitely don't have that kind of storage luxury in our van. Over here is the bathroom with another skylight. 
I'm back. Just wanted to point out how much I love this corrugated metal. That it brings in the fact that this is a container house because you completely forget that you are in a metal box when you're in here. Hopping back into our other metal box to tell you about Surfshark, the sponsor of today's episode. If you haven't heard us talk about Surfshark or a VPN before, what it is is a virtual private network that encrypts all of your online activity. Everything from searching history to credit card information or important work documents so that what you do online is hidden from any outside intruders keeps away any data thieves. It does. And with all of us doing everything from home and online, from work to shopping to banking, yeah. investing, all those private special sites with passwords that we have to keep. Having a VPN makes more sense than ever before. It also allows us to access region restricted websites. For example, we can pop over to an IP address in the UK we can log onto our Netflix site and watch different shows that might be available to that region. And by using our link below and the code Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, Surfshark is offering you 83% off and four months for free. It's a limited time offer. It's available only on Black Friday. So mark get your calendars. Then. Otherwise it's the same deal, but you just get three months for free. Now let's head back in to see what the rest of this container is all about. I love what they did here for the bathroom door. They put a magnet into this door frame and a magnet in the curtain. There you go. So simple, so easy. I love it. And the bathroom's completely hooked up, normal toilet. I love the hardware that they use to make this awesome little toilet paper holder. And over here, it's the part two of the kitchen. We have a full-size refrigerator, which is really exciting, although I'm not sure we'll get to use it because we have our van right over there. Um, but what is extremely exciting and useful for us is the fact that there is a laundry in this Airbnb. That is a huge perk for us because we have a load or two that would be so convenient to get washed and that means we don't have to go to a laundromat. Laundry? Laundry. It's kind of fun. Plus tonight we're gonna get real hot showers. We're not gonna be limited by the two and a half gallon hot water heater that we have in our van and that we are so grateful for, but tonight we're gonna get to enjoy life with a little bit more luxuriating, which will be wonderful. you have never stayed in Airbnb before, it is an experience that you don't want to miss out on. And by using our link below, you'll get up to $65 off of your first trip. This is not sponsored. It's just a perk that you get by using our link. And we hope that you get to find an amazing little container or tree house or whatever that little retreat is that you are craving. I know that this will be especially nice for Drew and I. And if you guys have ever built a container house, house or maybe have plans to and you want to bond over that leave us a comment below or send us an email we'll put our email in the description of this video below for you but now drew and i are just gonna enjoy having some space to sprawl do our laundry shower all those little things that make van lifers so so happy and that's what you guys are. You guys make us so, so happy too. So tap that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and tap that bell too so we don't get lost in the ethers of YouTube and you get notified when we have new content for you. Like this random little tour video, which we're so happy that we could share. This is when the place looks lived in. Okay. Need more help? We should have parked closer. We should have parked a little closer. I gotta make it to the log with all our pillows. It's like Frogger. Oh my. Whoa! <laughs> Wipe out, are you okay? Yeah, actually it didn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky for me. You missed the two foot log. There we Here. go. I got the roller too. <laughs> I'll take care of the van. <sighs> Say I'm okay now. I'm okay now. And look, it's dinner time, but 
the fact that we can sprawl out is one of the like nicest most comforting feelings because there are things we have in our van like my journal from Europe that I haven't been able to pull out in forever just because like we're in a small you space and for a long time. no and people always ask me for my morning pancake recipe all the time it's the most requested recipe ever and it's in here and I finally can pull it out and vice here it is ha! the ultimate morning pancake so if anybody struggles with finding a healthy breakfast this is great. I unfortunately can't eat it because it's oatmeal. I can't eat lectins. I don't know. Google it. See how you feel about it. But for me, my gut, I unfortunately can't enjoy this ultimate morning pancake anymore. But Drew can. And he does. <laughs> I shall. And look, like stories from Portugal. Our most dreamed about place. And your pressed flowers. They're beautiful. Thanks. And butterflies. The Britney book. <laughs> yeah, I should do something.